hey folks, today I'd like to show off my solar observations using the ZWO C-STAR S50 Smart Telescope and the Astro Essential Solar Filter, which uses a uh, Bader solar filter material, which in my opinion does a great job at bringing out sunspot details and the photosphere detail as well. Um, but before going on to the next slide, which will show three um, video excerpts, um, look at the very leftmost um, excerpt so you can see a couple of objects uh, going across its surface. It looks to me like a satellite, but currently I'm unable to verify any satellites moving uh, over where I live um, and using a uh, transitfinder.com. Um, I can't say that it is and, and be honest about it. The second object that you'll see uh, going across the surface appears to be uh, just a bird. Now here you see the object going across. You'll see another one going across the, as well. Now I think in the middle image, you'll also see something dart across as well. There we go. But here you see that the um, uh, the detail that the filter picks up, um, of course, at four times magnification, the, the details aren't quite as nice. Um, so, but still, it just is amazing the amount of sunspot activity on the surface right now. So here's a view of the sunspots with the regions uh, labeled. Uh, this, these labels come off of spaceweather.com and even as of uh, the making of this video, which is the day after I made, I imaged the sun, uh, the crater on the far left still has not been identified. So that largest sunspot, <clears throat> that, that, I haven't seen anything this large as one sunspot since about 2014, and I'll um, include a link to a video I created back in 2014 that shows the sunspot bigger than Jupiter. And here's final uh, image showing just, just the sunspots and the surface detail. And I'm really pleased with uh, seeing the, being able to image and capture the, the sunspot activity on the sun. And you'll be able to uh, capture or see uh, this, these sunspots um, for the next several days. Uh, just a word of caution, as always, uh, make sure that you have proper eye protection uh, for your telescope or for your eyes, because the damage that can be done uh, to your eyes, most importantly, is, is permanent, okay? So please bear that in mind. Outside of that, uh, I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend ahead and clear skies.